We are currently looking at the device that has completely destroyed the landscape of all video games here on console. The Zim Apex is a device that tricks the selected console into believing that the inputs from the mouse and keyboard are coming from a controller and tricking them to allowing MK on games that shouldn't allow it. Video games on console are in a state of panic from the Zim epidemic, and it is apparent in games like Rainbow Six Siege where the high lobbies are filled with Zim players and even the low ones are now filled with players who have not yet found their dead. Ubisoft over the past 8 years has shown little to no effort in actually fixing the biggest problem the game has ever seen, and it has put the entire community in danger of being destroyed and it might just be a little bit too late to fix. The abilities of the Zim go as followed. Anti-recoil macros, rapid fire where single shot weapons are basically automatic, the ability to get girls, apparently they're still working on that one, crouch spamming like a kid on coke, auto sprint just like Usain Bolt on dope, and much much more. There are communities forming around the idea of open cheating, daring Ubisoft to make a move, and they still haven't made one yet. It's like playing chess with an old guy with no arms. Nothing is going to happen besides sadness. It is an area where the worst players in the game are bragging about beating somebody who was on the couch with the sticks, and the amount of ego that is inside of these communities that is going unchecked because of the lack of change by Ubisoft. But Ubisoft is trying to change that narrative with the new Operation Mousetrap. Operation Mousetrap is going to be a anti-cheat for mouse and keyboard, obviously, and it's basically just going to give you a ton of latency if the game deems that you are on mouse. But the main issue that's going around after talking to people that I've talked to is that Operation Mousetrap will only really affect the high-ranked lobbies such as Champion Diamond and Emerald, I guess. But they won't affect the low-ranked lobbies, which is the core issue of the problem since a majority of the fan base are in silver and gold. So nothing is really going to be effective besides making champ which is already about 0.1% of the fan base a little bit more competitive and this to me means Ubisoft has missed their mark incredibly it's like putting a sandbag in front of a flooded river after your town got flooded it's just not gonna work now mousetrap has not officially been released it's waiting until the mid-season to actually come out but I'm going off what I'm hearing from other big youtubers and people that I have emailed personally to figure out this topic is that it's the rough estimate on how it's gonna work if I'm wrong on that I will apologize I have no issue with that I now want to go ahead and talk about the reason for people switching to Zim in the first place, and it's a very sad reality of what is coming. People switch over to Zim because they can't hit their achieved rank because of how many Zims are already out. They look at players and be like, well, if they're cheating, I might as well cheat one of those situations. And then just the lack of actually wanting to get better and deciding to take an easy shortcut out, which hopefully is taken out when Operation Mousetrap goes into full effect. But as of right now, with the way that Ubisoft has taken mouse and keyboard, there is no real downside of making the switch over because there's no consequences and if operation mousetrap does not work it'll be even sadder on ubisoft who said that they can ban people and they have chosen not to when i talk to people about it their thoughts on the reason why those people are not being banned is because of the money situation console siege has made i think the most money it's ever made since its creation which is something ubisoft doesn't want to lose so if they go and ban thousands upon thousands of players who are cheating they're taking a heavy shot in revenue and i don't think any company Set. The console siege community needs help and it needs somebody who cares about the well-being of their players And as of this moment, it's sad to say that Ubisoft is just not it Like what is the point of grinding to the higher ranks if all you play against is cheaters? It is aggravating to see somebody cheat and not get punished and it feels even more aggravating when they are rewarded for breaking the rules That's about it Zim has ruined console, the console community. Even if they make a change now, I believe it's far too late to get most of the players back. Now, people have brought up the fact that people use mouse and keyboard for disabilities. And I will say that if you are a disabled player, you are not the reason I have made this video. There's no point for me to make a video attacking somebody because of a disability. But what I will attack is the many of players that are saying the disability as an excuse. In all realities, they are just perfectly fine. They are just mentally disabled to even think that that is a good idea. But there's nothing much more to say. Siege will have the ability to actually allow disabled players to have access to their mouse and keyboard again, which is a necessary evil, but I'd rather more people play the game than somebody who is disabled and not be able to enjoy the game. But with that being said, Dex out. Bye.